Oh yes, this is uh, my Tesla Model X, uh, Optimus Prime. And you know what, uh, for the longest time I've noticed something here. This is... Uh, it, it, I think I was told it's plastic or something weird, but... Uh, let me try to zoom in so you can see better. There there's, appears to be some kind of rust here. I don't know where it comes from. Uh, a little bit over there. And there are some, some small rust spots. Okay, let me go on this side. You can see it better. So, you know what? Uh, I asked my detailer uh, about this. And apparently you can remove them with iron X. So I'm going to try that. You see, I have... I bought this bottle here. So uh, I've shown you guys before, Iron X. So this one will uh, loosen up or do some chemical reaction with, with iron. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get rid of this. So I was told we have to just spray them on here on dry surface and then rinse it off. So let's start doing that. Okay. Well, there could be some more. So let's, let's just take all the letters then. Okay. I'm not sure how much I should apply, but oh, that smell! Whew. Okay, okay. So um, soon we should see some bleeding, some uh, uh, was again purple bleeding. Hmm. If this works or not, I have no idea. Okay, just let's wait a bit. Oh yes, after just uh, a minute, we start seeing bleeding there. And it's purple. Same over here, you see some spots that started bleeding. Huh, that makes me wonder. Maybe I should apply on the whole rear. Let's, let's do that. Let's, let's apply some more because it seems like there could be some, some hidden spots that I, I didn't see. Okay. Wow. Now I have to make sure to rinse this off afterwards. Okay. All right. And then just wait. I think we have to wait like uh, five minutes for for the chemicals to react. Uh, okay, you know, I waited a couple of minutes and I think we have very warm weather right now, so it evaporates too fast. Uh, well, you see some uh, purple here. So, um, hmm. You know what? Maybe I should apply some more and uh, just, yeah, let's, a little bit more, but. I had to prepare to to rinse it off soon. Yeah, I think in the warm weather uh, it will vaporize so fast. So I should have done this in a cold, cold garage, which I don't have right now. The garage over there is also pretty hot. It's about uh, 25 degrees Celsius in there. So um, let's wait a little bit more and then start rinsing. All right, and now we try to rinse. Everything. Hmm, well, maybe I should. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just I don't high pressure. Wash this. Just rinse it. Oh, I think I need to do it in this angle. Rinse it off. Because you don't want that thing thing to stay on. Ooh, you know what? That looks better, but still, it's not gone. So I wonder, uh, yeah, you know what, I'm going to wait a bit, wait for it to dry out and then apply a new one. But I don't want to spray it on right now because um, we have some water. So if we spray that solution on, it will be watered out. All right, so I did a couple of rounds of uh, Iron X and rinse it off. And you see, we still see some traces here, but at least most of it is gone now. So I guess I could keep going. Uh, I still wonder where the heck it came from. What? There must be some iron somewhere here. Uh, yeah, I should try with a magnet. But um, I don't know. Is this something I would bother too much about? Nah. Uh, but of course, uh, every time I go to the lift, uh, every time I want to open and close the the hatch, I will see that little like whatever there is. I'm like, oh. So, oh well. Uh, maybe there's already a permanent fix for this. I don't know, but uh, at least I managed to get rid of most of it. So I think uh, that's it for now then. So uh, yes, talk to you guys later.